Let's take a look at our tail of the tape as we have Terrell Williams and Tomas Delorme going head to head in our next matchup. Guys, as you look at the numbers, what stands out to you? Well, the age difference. You know, Terrell would be six inches, uh, six years older. But but Delorme, as the you know, th though they both have 11 years as pro fighters, I think Delorme's qual uh, quality of opposition right. is the, the biggest difference. These numbers are very similar here. I, I see what you're saying with the Williams being 35, but at the same time, Williams did have a, a bit of a layoff. Um, so he's 35 in age, but he's not 35 in, in ring age. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here in Bakersfield, California. As we now have 10 rounds in the welterweight division, it's all being sponsored by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. Your three judges scoring this next contest at ringside will be Abe Bellardo, Dr. Lou Moret, and Alejandro Rochin. Your referee in charge when the bell sounds is Rudy Barragan. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner. He comes in wearing the gold and black, weighing in officially at 146 and one half pounds. His professional record, an impressive one, 24 wins, 16 of those coming inside the distance against three losses in one draw. Fighting out of Carolina, Puerto Rico. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, presentando Tomas Dolorme. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the blue trunks trimmed with the white and gold. Also weighing in at an identical 146 and one half pounds. He enters tonight's bout undefeated. 18 wins, 13 of those coming by way of knockouts. Fighting out of Inglewood, California. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Terrell Tiger. I give you guys both your instructions. Leí los dos instrucciones. Obey my commands at all times. Obedezca en todos los tiempos. And protect yourselves at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Ten rounds. Good luck. Buena suerte. Terrell Williams, undefeated, 18-0, 13 knockouts, taking on Tomas Delorme. Williams from Inglewood, been a pro for a decade, did not fight. In a 2016, only one fight in 2017, one in 2018. This will be a second fight of this year. He started his career finishing off 12 of his 13 opponents. That man, Tomas Delorme, earned a majority draw in his last fight against former world champion Jesse Vargas last October. It was a very close fight, and Delorme felt he should have gotten the victory. The quality of your opposition, as I said earlier, favors the Lord made tremendously. It's been, you know, being a champion, being one of the former champions. Uh, he's got that youth, I mean, he's got that experience. And there ain't no greater factor in the fight than the experience. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, Delorme has been in the ring with some, some very experienced guys and very decorated individuals, uh, Terrence Crawford being one of them. Uh, you know, Dennis Ugas as well. I mean, talk about, you know, Jesse Vargas. And with Delorme, 2-2-1 two, two in his last five bouts. Nice start for Terrell Williams. Williams what? earned a split decision victory over Justin Deloach, a very close fight in late April of this year. Yeah, Williams looked real focused at this point. He's got, he's got a great jab that's established. Big a looping shot by Tomas Delorme, partially blocked by Terrell Williams. You know, we were talking about the, all the, the all the stars and celebrities that were from Bakersfield. Well, who's from Carolina? Puerto Rico. The great Roberto Clemente. Wow. Greatest, maybe probably the greatest Latino ball player of all time. They played for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Did Roberto Clemente? For Terrell Williams, this is the most difficult opponent thus far in his professional career. He is yet to face an opponent with more victories than Delorme. He fought a guy with 19 victories, but this is the kind of fight that Terrell Williams has been looking forward to during the course of his career. This is the type of fight he's gonna need to step up to the next level. He's already, you know, 
35 years old. And, and I know, I know, Tom, I know you said, but it's not all the fight years. This is a young man's sport. Always has been, always will be. You got you to pick up the pace. Yeah, you, you are correct in saying this is a young man's sport. Um, I know he's 35 years old. He's got 18 fights under This is 19th, 19th one now. Um, but he, he took a little bit of time off there. He, he had a little bit of delay where he was fighting you know, one, one fight a year. Um, uh, uh, but tonight, uh, William looks sharp. He looks like a, he looks like a young star. Well, Terrell Williams is a proud family man. He has three children, has a lovely wife back home, has kids the ages of five, three, and one. And he says he fights for his family every single time out. John Coleman, his trainer, he believes that Terrell Williams can become a world champion and have his best career into his mid-30s, into his 40s. Well, there's certainly been a lot of fighters who fought late in their 30s or 40s and did very well, such as Archie Moore, Sugar Ray Robinson. 10 seconds, Bernard yes, Hopkins. Hopkins. 10 seconds. Yeah, but that needs to figure each of us. Find a moment. Oh, there's a big left hook that connected by Delorme. Five. That's the end of the first. <laughs> the jab is giving him trouble. Stay with it. And there's John Pullman right. talking to Terrell Williams. But guys, what a busy day tomorrow. Live on that. Fox. Cannot wait to watch football. The whole day should be a fun one. And inside PVC as well, you got boxing and football. My goodness. Much like next Saturday, college football, then the pay per view. Sign me up. The smorgasbord on the PBC. The smorgasbord of the front that I'm going to be enjoying as uh, Terrell Williams and Tomas Delorme in the second round. There's a left hook that connects. And Terrell Williams, the name might be familiar. You know, he's been around for a decade. But, you know, he had an unfortunate incident in 2015. He fought Richard Cologne. And there's a big right hand. And a left hook to the body. But Cologne was disqualified in the ninth round. It was, you know, accidental infractions because of that fight against Williams and the injuries that Cologne sustained. He actually fell into a coma that lasted seven months. Thankfully, uh, Cologne is alive and, and he, you know, he's dealing with things but he is now paralyzed, cannot speak, and he does have brain damage. Uh, Williams became emotional when talking about that. It's not easy, but you know what, guys? I give him all the credit in the world for being able to move past that. Nothing that he did was intentional during that fight against Cologne, and those are some of the dangers that you encounter when you step inside the ring. Break. Yeah, break, break, every boxer break. understands that we're, yeah, we're in a dangerous break. business. Anytime you climb through the ropes, um, it, it, it could be the last time you throw a punch, it could be the last time you box. Um, I, 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 you're correct when you say Terrell Williams went into that fight with the intent on putting on a great performance. He didn't have any intent on putting any kind of body to harm his opponent. Um, but I think he did, he's doing a great job of coming back from it. it he, he did get a little emotional in our fighting meetings a lot yesterday, but um, today he, he looks like he's all business. And let me tell you something, and he's coming out, he's getting hurt, throwing punches at Del uh, Delorme, and I tell you, he caught him with a couple of hooks that stunned Delorme for the moment. I love this matchup, guys. You have Williams, who's 35, Delorme, who's 29. Both men see that there is a nice pot of gold fighting at 147. That has been a loaded division pretty much since the test of time. Well, yeah, the, and, and there's a lot more names uh, in that division that we know the we know the typical. But we got you know Django James from Minneapolis. Uh, you know Terrell Williams could be right there. You got, you got Spence Porter next week on pay-per-view. You got Keith Thurman, who is going to be out until 2020. Manny Pacquiao is out there. Big left hook by DeLorme. Williams took it well. Oh, my. The action is heating up here in Bakersfield. But DeLorme, oh. DeLorme said when the left hand shot the top of the head, who heard it? Oh. Right by DeLorme. DeLorme threw some body shots, hit him low, slow him down a bit. Cut. That first round of four out is over. The second round has been action packed. They are turning up the intensity here in Bakersfield. Some of his work and hello, Terrell Williams. Boom, but Williams took it well. What a chin by the 34-year-old out of Inglewood. And speaking of
another welterweight division, Ivan Redcatch. We saw him back in June against Devin Alexander, finished off the former world champion, Sergey Lipinets, welterweight contender as well. So guys at 147 have their eyes transfixed on this one. Who knows, the winner of this fight might fight that man, Sergey Lipinets, or even Ivan Redcatch. Sign me up with any one of those matchups. So Sergey Lipinets is, is a dangerous individual. He's got a bunch of power in both hands. And at the welterweight division, that's that speaks volumes. At the, that division, like I said, I just said, the two biggest divisions in boxing, the two best divisions for me, is the welterweight division and the super middleweight division. Go to the talents. For Tomas Delorme, he's a long-time welterweight and championship contender. As he's looking to break that ceiling for Terrell Williams, they're looking to circle the wagons. I think the, uh, Thomas is doing a great job right now of giving thanks for the left hook and stabbing the body. He's gonna he's gonna circle back and, and, and land that big left hook when he needs to. But you said because I was gonna say about Williams. I like the Williams. Is faint, faint, big stick out of jet. Faint. No, he's got he's got the long range. Guess it. There's a big right hand on the top of the head of Williams. That stopped Williams in his tracks. And another overhand right now. He's starting to walk down Williams. Delorme is starting to pick up the pace against Terrell Williams. Williams knows he's in for a tough battle tonight. Oh, right oh, here as Williams stops Delorme. The limitation, Delorme threw some shots, but he wasn't catching Williams or anything solid. On top of the head, he slipped and slide. I tell you, I'm Williams right now, I love what he's doing. Both men are having their moments in the early going, Dominic. Yeah, Delorme's got a nice bounce to his step right now. He's trying to set things up. Williams is doing a great job of establishing this jab. He, he's, he's keeping Delorme at bay. Williams is matching with everything he does. He, bats, he, he hits him a couple of jabs, he comes right back with a jab. Throw a right hand, he comes right back with it. Williams is a cool customer, guys. Realizes that he's going to be under fire during parts of this fight. But he remains in the pocket and is very astute by doubling up on his jab, yes. it by the right hand. Yes. Slipping and slide, man, making him miss that right hand over the top, coming right back with something something of his own. That's the key. When the guy misses, you gotta make him pay for it. And and and, and uh, Williams is doing that. Terrell Williams is using the pure fundamentals. The jab followed by the right hand. He has very good balance. Is he, yeah, you're right. He's pure fundamentals, but he's doing it in just a great, proper way. Not only is he establishing the jab, he's moving well. His feet are always underneath him. He's balanced. So the Both men looking for their openings. You can tell that they respect one another. Oh, tell you, he's landing that. Williams landed that right hand in the lower base uh, side of his head. Good exchange. Between Williams and Delorme. A right hand as we near the end of round three. Top of the foul. And that's the end of the third as they continue to mix it up as the bell sounds. My sign of respect as Williams, the gentleman that he always is, touches gloves. Delorme says, How about this right? But Williams says, hit him with the right, hit him with the left. Here we go. The action resumes. Welcome back. There is Terrell Williams making his entrance. There's Talamas Delorme. Both men having moments of brilliance in this fight. Neither man looking to take a step back as we enter into this, our fourth round. Delorme is coming straight in now. I don't know if that's the smartest thing. He was boxing pretty good before. I think mean, he, he feels like he wants to walk down a way. Uh, Joel, as Diaz, his trainer, told him, man, we got to come forward and back this guy up. got to keep your hands up. And he's, he's doing it. But I'm going to tell you right now, stop, stop, no you know, Williams stop. takes a half step slide back, catches him with, you know, throwing that uppercut. That's what they call Ray a fighter. You gotta take some to give some. The one we can do a better job of uh, setting something up, putting something in the body, putting something in the head, opposed to just coming in behind nothing. He's gonna be a lot no more punching. Let's go. 
Terrell Williams and Tomas DeLorme. Battle me. There's a big left hook. Staggered Williams. I don't know if he was off balance or the punch. Might have been a combination of both. But DeLorme swarming Williams and goes back on the offensive. Seems to be a little bit of swelling underneath the right eye of Terrell Williams as DeLorme picking up the pace as he swings for the fences. But everything's for the, for the head. He ain't going back to the body. Bang that body, then go to the head. Bang that body, catch, stop him in his tracks, then go to the head. Yes, yes, I, I agree. That last shot when you heard him, he, he went downstairs first and then he came upstairs. Um, and, you know, we'll see if Dorman comes back to it. He's a veteran fighter. Maybe he played in the bank and he's going to win later in this round. Yeah. Oh, no. Tomas Delorme, 70 seconds left, is walking down Terrell Williams. We'll see if Williams can skim the tide of the run in his favor. You know, to me, Delorme was not doing anything different than now he's just determined to walk this guy down and keep applying pressure. Because he was doing good stuff before, but he was backing up at him. Now he's just making consistent pressure. And even though Delorme, big right hand, smacking up the skull of Williams. No problem, stop. Even though Delorme is six years younger than Williams, Delorme has the experience about being in there against former world champions. And that experience is starting to play itself out. It was one of the things that Joel Diaz and company felt that they had the advantage in heading into this fight. Now the moments of this are fourth round between Terrell Williams and Tomas Delome. The action continues here from Bakersfield. Tomas Delorme picking up the pace and giving a nice combination. There's the right, and then comes back. Vamos. Come let's on, go. let's go. Efectividad, get off. Come on. This kid doesn't want anything. Keep your hands up. That was Joel Diaz, the trainer of Tomas Delorme. I was doing translating when we got, before we got back to break, he said to Tomas Delorme, he goes, this kid doesn't want to fight anymore. You need to pick up the pace. Ray, do you agree with that sentiment from Joel Diaz? Well, I don't say he don't want to fight anymore, but I, I think that uh, Delorme put the pressure on last week, took a little bit out of, uh, you know, out of Williams. I don't say he took his heart away, but he took a little bit out of him. Because he kept walking him down, walking him down. And that's what he's got to do. He's got to keep doing it this round. I think Williams is still in this fight. Um, he just doesn't like the pace that the, the, the fight is moving on right now. Delorme is doing a great job of stepping the pace up and keeping it at the pace that he wants to fight at. So a lot of movement going on, a lot of jumping in and out. But it, when, when he does jump in, he's landing big shots. So how do you slow it down if you're Terrell Williams and make this more of a fight and a pace that he's comfortable at? You gotta think you gotta put some shots, body shots slowed down. That's really the only way. You gotta catch some good body shots, maybe and, you know, and slow them down, and then pick, you know, like you said, then you can apply the pace, the pace that you want to fight at. Right now, he's letting the Lorme walk him down, and he's, he has to fight back. That, that too, he's, he's got to use his jab. He's, he's got a long reach. He's got to use the, the jab in twos and threes and put it all over the place. Like he was doing the first couple rounds. And take an experienced long walk, man. One time walk to your right, then maybe come back to your left. But you got to use the jab to your advantage. You got to give some time to breathe. Instead of Williams stepping to Delorme, should Williams be trying to invite Delorme in and set traps? Well, I'm thinking at this point, you know, yeah, he was doing that in the earlier rounds. You know, let the woman come in, slide back, throw that hook, that uppercut, right hand, whatever it is you're going to do, but take a half slide back. I, I think for both of these guys, though, either way, when they both get on the inside, there's got to be more punches and bunches. I, I'm seeing ones and twos. At the welterweight division, you'd like to see five, six, and seven at a time. Nearing one minute to go here in the fifth round. Ray Flores, the Hall of Famer, Ray Boo Boo Mancini, Dominic Brazil, Marcos Villegas. Ray Flores here, ringside in Bakersfield. Terrell Williams, Tomas Delorme. A battle here oh, 47. Nice oh. left hook. That was the best combination over the past few rounds for Terrell Williams. And that caught the attention of Delorme. Oh! And back comes the Puerto Rican as he answers back. Delorme picking up the pace once again. 
But back comes Williams. I love Williams, man. I love the kid. He showed a lot of heart, man. But, and he's throwing that right hand over the top. Oh, no, Norman's no got to watch no when he walks in. He's got to slide. He's got Bob and Weave. Slide roll underneath because Williams is throwing that right hand over the top. He's catching him so far three or four times in a row. The one is going to do a better job of keeping his gloves up after he finishes his combo. He, he, he's getting on the inside, which is great, but he throws a big loop of shot with his hands are down. Terrell Williams and Tomas DeLorme are in a heated confrontation here in Bakersfield. We'll come back with more. A BBC final here in FS1. Terrell Williams putting together his punches in the fifth. I got light it. Welcome back to PBC Fight Night. We are here in Bakersfield, California. Tomas Delorme being guided by Joel Ortiz. And Marcos, what do you think of the fight thus far? Man, this has been a great fight so far, right? Back and forth action, but I think overall Delorme looks really, really sharp, and he's been in the edge uh, in these rounds. He's just more active, landing the better punches against uh, Terrell Williams. That's one way, man. Delorme keeping that pressure on. There it is. Take a look. Marcos Vegas has Delorme oh, oh. on But Delorme and Williams, they're going back and forth. It is not going to suck them robots here in the early going of the sixth. The difference is Delorme's shots are straight, and, and Williams' shots are starting to loop. Yeah, it's a total toe exchange. Delorme's legs still look strong. Williams got a little bit wider on the base than I'd like to see, but... Uh, Delorme no, has outlined Williams in three of the last four rounds, but Williams, you don't grow up in Inglewood and are not a tough customer. That is not the no, easiest free, place I, to grow up. No, no, that's for sure. All right, break. Let's break. Let's break. Come on. Let me go. Cody Madagato separate the two combatants as nearly a minute has ticked off the clock here in the sixth round. They both are fighting pretty much in their chest. Yeah, I mean, look, that's the type of fight. Uh, I just, I thought that Williams would be more of a boxer. I thought he'd move more. Stop, but stop, right now, stop. he knows he has to fight him. He has to hold his ground and fire him back. Well, Williams seems to have abandoned his jab, but Delorme has picked this up. He's found he's a home for his jabs. No, and, and, no, it's great. It's great for the fans. You know the way this fight is going right now. Great action pack fight. Very fast friendly. But you're right. Williams got to get back to the jab. Sticking that there. Keep his uh, Delorme at the end of that jab. Why? Well, and Williams has never fought the caliber of opponent like Delorme. And it's not like he's getting totally out class, guys. No, he's still very no, much in this fight. Absolutely. Is. Eighty seconds left in the sixth. Stop! Let's break. Come on, let him go. Let him go. Let's break. Come on, let him go. Let's break. Come on. He's, he's a guy that's one of the best fighters I've never heard of. Because this guy can fight. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen him. They both continue to exchange. Left hook by Williams upstairs. Williams. Delorme seems to be slowing down a little bit, right? But, but they also, but no, Delorme is no, going more. No. Concentrated body attack. He's focusing on that body more now, and which is which is gonna pay dividends from the light, later rounds. Yeah, the dorm is really digging now. He's really digging that body. See, I like what the, the lower man doing. Slide in, slide out, slide back, just in and out of the way the long big punches. I know Williams is taking a step back here. And he's kind of back but it, it, it seems to me Grand that he, he's controlling his fight. You know, he wants to fight on the inside when he wants to. He's long and rangy when he wants to. Body work by Tomas Delorme. They both end. Williams sends a right hand to close distance. As the sixth round will draw to a close. Let's go. Prior to returning, Joel Diaz said, I want to, Delorme, I want you to put together one, two, three punch combinations, then go downstairs. Come on, man. This guy doesn't want to fight. Seven. That seven. has been Come the on. sentiment from Joel Diaz, and he starts off with a big right hand. Let him go, that let him go, let him Williams go. by surprise. Stop, no punching, stop, let him go. Let's go. In, into round number seven. Right now he's starting to hurt uh, Williams. Over the last couple rounds, he's been hurt over the last couple rounds. Again, pressure, big shots to that body. He's killing that body. That's definitely, like I said, paying dividends for him. Well, there 
there was a huge right hand, oh, oh, and Williams ate it, break, break, but you on, can tell that Delorme's pressure is starting to wear down Williams to a degree. If we can get Williams to throw his jab more, that, that takes away that huge right hand right off the bat. Stick it out there, right, leave no it punch, out there, no use no it as a defensive break. tool as well as an offensive break, tool. Break, 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 break. Come on, let's go. Are you guys surprised that Terrell Williams is willing to engage in this quote-unquote firefight with Delorme? Oh, I mean, I mean, that's why I'm talking at the fighter meeting. He seems to pick guy who's going to fight him. Go, 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 you know, no and, and he has to at this point. He has to. There's no chance to beat him in the other way. He's got to stand there making a firefight and hopefully catch that Delorme hurt him and possibly take him out. Yeah, and this beautiful sport of boxing, Styles makes fights. And these two styles going at it right now are making a tremendous, tremendous fight. Um, and, you know, Williams has the ability to stay long and rangy, but at the same time, when he gets on the inside, he's got to let it go. Right now, he's, he's looking for the big shot. Halfway mark, go round seven. Let's go. Well, Terrell Williams has a very good corner with John Holman, Mike Rodriguez, Andrew Rodriguez, his cut man. Both a steep cut, man. You know, and we'll see if they can make adjustments. I'm sorry. Let me see. Right now, one of the things I noticed uh, is that William is starting to swell up around the eyes. You know, it, you, it, you can tell it's, it's taking its toll on both fighters, but more so it's noticeable on Williams. Dominic, these are the kind of fights that take a physical toll on you and a right hand that stop the forward progression of Williams. Yeah, these, these fights definitely take a toll on you. With Williams being 35, uh, you know, the age is there, but the, 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 ring, the, the ring age wear and tear is not there. Uh, but a fight like this would definitely make you feel like you're 35. Williams said he felt like a very young fighter right after this. Who knows, I mean, because it's not either. Same thing with DeLorme. DeLorme's taking some big shots as well in this fight. Like I said, it's it's just a, it's a stylistic matchup. It's a great fight. I'm, I'm enjoying this fight tremendously this far. One thing that I'm noticing, uh, Williams, when he's in his big stance, he's ready right to establish a jab. He's locking up that front leg, which, which to me says that his legs are tired. Ten seconds, guys. Stop the battle. Ready to fight. Ready to fight another belt. As round seven comes to an end. Coming up later tonight, our main event. Peter Kidd, Chocolate Quill, and the former world champion will step inside the ring. His opponent tonight, Alfredo Pedro Angulo. He says the old Pedro will be on display here tonight on FS1. Alfredo Angulo, 37 years of age, now training under Abel Sanchez. There's just Joel Diaz. I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know what's in your head. Take a look but at this guy right here. All you need to do is just keep him at this Right by Tomas Delorme. Yeah, boom. But, you know, big, big shot over the top. Big shot over the top. You know, I mean, he's, he, that's that's the main difference in this fight. At the last four, three, four Honestly, rounds, the big shots by Delorme have taken a toll on Graham, slowed him down quite a bit. Delorme's been, Delorme's been in this fight several times. He's fought great opposition, great experience, guys. Um, you know, Williams, on the other hand, He's, he, he's one of those guys that takes a fight once a year, twice a year. Uh, right now, uh, the swollen under his eyes kind of kind of concerning me. He's, he's breaking a lot, and, and mentally, it might be in his head. Round number eight, this one's scheduled for ten. We talk about Styles making fights. Would you believe, gentlemen, 50% of this fight has been fought at close range. The welterweight average is 23%. There we go. No so buddy, these stop. two, Delorme and go. Williams, separate, have separate, no problem stop. engaging at close distance. Now if you go by, the, see there's this where the statistic of landing more punches a little bit, uh, it's a little disconcerting. Williams has landed more punches according to the stats, but Delorme has landed bigger shots to me it's dictating the pace of this fight, controlling this fight. Well Delorme is certainly landing the more eye-catching punches. Usually it's the man who lands the more punches, it wins the fight. Bottom line box, you got a man more than you. Stop! No more punches! Delorme with the big right hand, and Williams was spiked a little bit. Don't know if his vision was impaired for a brief second. What adjustments would you like to see, if any, Dominic out of Terrell Williams? I'd like to see him to go back to being long. When he started this fight out, he was popping the jab. It was one and two. He was finishing up with a long right hand. Right now, he's kind of like buying into Delorme's plan. Five left inside and allowing Delorme to get in his range, throwing big looping shots. But it's what he has to do at this point. 
you know, I think at this point, yes, dinner, we can fire fight because as he's got to feel fighters know, don't you know that? Right, that no when you're behind stop, or not, stop. he's got to feel he's behind on, because okay, his corner to kind of put a, you know, push him to, to pick up the pace. Right, there is now a cut above the left eye of Tomas Delorme. I don't know where that, why it transpired. Rudy Badagan separates them, but there is a cut above the left eye of Tomas Delorme, and it is dripping yeah, into his eyes deep. on the island. It's pretty deep. I don't know if it's clash heads or what, but it's pretty deep. And now there is, I think I've seen blood on the face of Williams. So both men oh, are he just got hurt when I looked up too. Oh, still a minute left here in the eight. Like Williams got hit. Delorme had a left hook and stopped him. You know, it shattered for a few seconds. So Delorme is dealing with the cut above his left eye, not a good place. and I was told that it was caused because of a headbutt. It was not a deliberate headbutt, but nonetheless, that will be a story to look at heading into these final two Stop. rounds. No more punching. Let's go. Let's well, break. Let's break. Delorme's taking that step back. Yeah, it looks like he's looking for that big right hand, and it's almost like he's baiting Williams into it to fall right into it. This is a real good fight, man. I hate to see the stuff over the cup, but I mean, he's just got to get the stuff without blood. Final. Ten seconds. Ten seconds of our eighth round on what has been a compelling battle between Tomas Delorme and Terrell Williams. And there is Delorme, the cut above the left eye, and Joel Diaz has a lot of work. We'll take a look at how it happened. Here the cut must become right here. Clash your heads. Boom. Oh, yeah, oh, that's man. it. That's it. And it's in a bad spot, Dominic. Yeah, yeah it's right above the oh. eye, and it's deep. It's it's, it's oh. a big cast. Hopefully the cut man got, got his, uh, his med kit out. He's ready to work. Well, this is why, as a fighter, you invest in a quality cut man. Absolutely no dispute. You must do that. And to those who have it, paid for it doing it. Having the quality cut man is like the, uh, the car insurance. You don't ever realize you have it until you need to use it. So get yourself a great cut man. For Delorme, he connected on 50% of his power punches the last round, so his connect percentage nearly landing 50% of his power punches round nine. This one scheduled for 10. Ray Flores, the Hall of Fame, Ray Mancini, Dominic Brazil, Marcos Viegas, ringside. Two more rounds remaining. Uh, Ray, what would you like to see Delorme do as now he has this issue of the cut, Joel Diaz seems to have stopped the bleeding for now. I know, he's got to do what he's got. He's got to continue doing what he's doing. It's a close, close fight. Even though you're cut, you still got to go in there and throw punches and, and, and close the distance. Williams is to take advantage of this round and just beat that eye up. Jab, right hand, time up on the inside and get short, short shots from, from underneath. Um, you you got to believe that uh, Delorme is being affected by that eye just bleeding in his face. Of course, he's been affected, you're absolutely right. But it hasn't seemed to, to change his fight right now. No, he's been still throwing punches. So he's for a nice boxing a little bit more. Stop, stop. But he's Let's throwing punches, yourself. you know. Come on, separate three, yourself. Let's go. Yeah, punch Let's go. Let's and he's go. moving. He's just smart. And Terrell Williams, that cut once again has opened up, but it isn't bleeding with as much frequency as it was in the eighth round. Now it starts to stop. pour out Get a little bit. Stop. Let's go. It's over a minute has right, come off right. the clock right. in the night. There's a left hook that barely missed over the top of the head of 12 right. Williams. Stop. Yeah, no more punching, no more punching, stop. Then a bad attention stop. ripped all over it. Yeah, he led, led, led with the left hook. Oh, right there. Right there, he caught him right at the end of it, though. Williams looks great when he stays in the line. When he, when he pops that jab and pops that right hand, he looks great. When he gets on the inside with Delorme, he's giving Delorme exactly what he wants. Delorme's out boxing right now. He's controlling the pace of the fight. But Terrell Williams is now looking to be more the aggressor. There is a sense of urgency in the demeanor of Terrell Williams as we have one minute left in the night. Well, not only because his corner, he's got to feel his behind. He'll show his fight like you're behind. But he's also starting to stop, you know, go after that cut. You gotta be on top of him. Both men 
Del Delorme still looks like he's got a lot of power locked up inside. Every time he throws a, a bad intention shot, it's, it's a it's it lands, it, it's, it's big. Well, Delorme also seems to be bigger physically than that at all. Oh, times. oh man, that body shot. He hit him with one a few seconds ago, he hit him with another one. That's empty in the tank, boy. That's empty in the tank. <laughs> you can see his punch is starting to drag a little bit now. There has been no shortage of entertainment in this welterweight clash as Talos DeLorme and Terrell Williams have brought their all here to Bakersfield. Ten seconds, get to one Stop! Break! Come on, come on. Let's break, let's break. Stop the bell! Fight around coming up. We'll listen into the corners first. We'll hear John Pullman. That was a good round. Don't worry. That was a good round. He, you see he's tired though, right? Round 10. Just be smart with your defense, because he, he wings a couple every now and then, right? One more, one more. He, he, just catch your breath and recover. Catch your breath and recover, deep breaths. When you punch, stay low and punch sharp. Touch his body, then his head. Or touch his head, then his body, and protect yourself. More than one, huh? Yeah, but when he holds you, you can't accept it. You gotta find a way to not allow that to happen. Último round, Tomás. Final round. Ya le hice le hice vida al morro. Ya de no queda no no queda porque. I mean, your elbows are hurting pretty bad, and at the same time, you're being you're not being effective with your shots. Pero pero be be smart, okay? Be smart, okay? Let's go. Last round. Let's go. Don't jump that right. Yes, the trainer of Tomás Delorme. Final round upcoming between Delorme and Williams. And I said it to Marcos Villegas. How do you see the fight thus far, Marcos? Thus far, Ray, I have an 88 to 82 Thomas Delorme. I think overall he's had the, the better of the exchanges, been more effective than pressuring, and he's been effective with his pressure. That last round, though, I gave to Williams. He actually backed up uh, Delorme. It was very close, but I gave the nod to him. But overall, I have it uh, up for uh, Delorme in this fight. Thank you very much, Marcos Ray. And Dominic, do you agree with that sentiment? I, I, I think Delorme is winning the fight. I don't, know, again, I don't know if it's that far apart, six rounds or five rounds that he had it. I think it's closer than that. But I think he started to win his last couple rounds, yeah. And, you know, they go right at each other, right? Beginning of the round. You know, staying center ring, break, digging the body. Break, break, break. Well, Marcus, I agree with you. Delorme is definitely winning this fight. I don't think he's going to that big of a... But he's doing a great job, and, and you know, this being this being a tenth and final round, the okay, is, is still stop, setting the pace. Stop, I mean, he's, he's on his way with Williams. When you gotta love the fact that both men, through caution of the wind, came out in the center of the ring, fought around, and just started trading and letting the leather fly. Oh, you love that. Okay, this is like a fight fans fight. Man. Love it. Get, get props to these guys, both guys. They, they, they know they got an obligation to get the fans what they want, and they're doing it. Stop! Break! You hear the term throwback fighter. When I look at both guys, the way they perform tonight, they are so emblematic of throwback fighters that we have seen in the 80s in your era, right? Or even before that, no, no fighters, like my father's tells me about to read about, watch tapes, you know, Kick Avilan, Ike Williams, Willie Joyce. These guys do just stand in front of you, man, doing all the all the tricks. Great fighters of that era, man. Stop! Yeah, you, you always want to see this in boxing, man. You know, to have two guys like this go toe to toe and, and let the leather fly. I mean, fans gotta love it. Oh! And knocked down by Delorme Williams. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you good? Come to me. Come to me. Let's go. Let's go. This is exactly what the fans came here to see. But the Lord may smell the blood, man. He smells, you know, it's like a shark. Shark in the water, man, going after it. Big right hands, Brian Williams. Williams is hurt. Oh, my goodness. What an assault by Talos DeLorme. The Lord may should actually push back, break the space. No punches. No punches. Come on. Those smugglers are punches. Show me, show me, show me, show me. What a finish to this matchup. DeLorme still throwing. Referee, tons of punches. Of punches. He he a lot of he may want to step in. He's ready to jump in. He's ready to jump in. Williams throws, and that's the end of the fight. What a matchup. That was a great pleasure to a great fight. Williams left everything inside that ring, and Delorme gave him everything he could handle. My goodness.
this. The raw emotion being displayed by Terrell Williams and Delorme looks like it was another night at the office. Well, take a look at the only knockdown in the fight. Tomas Delorme pointing down Terrell Williams here in the 10th and final round. There's that big left hook. Oh, my. Dropping Williams. Right on the butt. Yeah, yes. Part of that was caused by Williams pulling out with his hands down. Boom. We'll come back and see how the judges have this fight scored. What an entertaining matchup here in Bakersfield. Tomas Delorme and Terrell Williams provided us with 10 rounds of explosive action. My goodness, guys, they let the leather fly in this welterweight matchup, and here's how it all went down. I mean, look, this is a fight of your candidate for me. I mean, back and forth all night long. And really, until the end, I think it was decisive when he dropped it, when uh, Delorme dropped uh, Williams. That's probably the most decisive uh, punch in the whole fight. It definitely was back and forth. From, from the beginning of the, from the beginning opening rounds. I mean, the first round, it was a little bit of full round, but every round after that, it was an exchange of leather, punch after punch, big big left shot, left hooks, big right hands. Um, you know, shots landed right on top of the temple. It, it's it's one of those fights that you're gonna you're gonna be pressed to rewind and play all night long. You know, what a fight! As there was the knockdown in the tenth round. I know one thing, the one man went into that 10th round after his, his majority draw with Jesse Vargas, his last fight out. Yep. Um, he definitely did not want to leave this in front of the judges. No. And here are the total punches in this matchup between Delorme and Williams. Yeah, but look, you know, as, as the fight was going on, Delorme started picking up the pace because he was behind the punches landed, punches thrown, and then out. You, you said it earlier, Ray. Uh, Williams did a great job of throwing a volume of punches, but Delorme was the one that was the decisive punch in the big shots. Yeah. Marcos Vegas, how did you see the fight? I saw a 98 to 91 for uh, Delorme. For me, you know, from my vantage point, the way I was seeing, I thought it was clearly Delorme winning. I didn't think it was competitive. I felt he landed all the better punches. Uh, the power punches were in favor of Delorme. And I think overall, he pressured well, he pressured better, and he landed the better punches. So I added 98 to 91 for Delorme. Did he just say not competitive? Yeah, I didn't how, think many, how many fights did you have that you got <laughs> punchy? You say something stupid like that. Come on, man! I didn't think it was competitive. I thought it was all Delorme. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we go to the scorecards. Here are your score totals. The judges see the contest 98-91, 98-91, and 96-93 for your winner by unanimous decision. Tomas Delorme! So Tomas Delorme earns the victory, handing Terrell Williams his first loss of his professional career in both men's sportsmen and class acts. Yeah, I mean, that's beautiful to see that. Two guys go to war, and, you know, and put, put it all on the line and come out gentlemen yeah. like that. It, that's a beautiful thing to see. Great, great sportsmanship there. You always, you always want to see that competitive sport of boxing. Uh, it's, it's, it's something that sometimes is overseen. Yeah, that's, that's the nice beautiful to see part about boxing. After the fact that they exchanged money the way they did after 10 hard-fought rounds. Yeah. Was not easy physically on both men. Terrell Williams obviously will learn and bounce back from it. But tonight it was Tomas Delorme imposing his will upon Williams.